Hey there, Leo. How's it going? We're going to get started on your love reading. This reading is good for the second half of September from the 15th to the 31st. Leo, if you're new to my channel, welcome. For those of you that are back, my faithful viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for your love and for your continued support. Leo, let's begin. This reading is meant to give you clarity into a relationship, a connection that you have with somebody else that is significant and important to you. My dear Leo, we're going to start this reading by tapping into you you what are you doing what are you not doing what are you thinking what are you feeling where do you stand because cross watcher is here and they want to know just like you're here and want to know about your significant other your significant other is here looking into you all right we have the three of swords and the four of pentacles oh oh leo okay hold on hold on let me breathe <laughs> let me get let me uh just settle down a little bit <clears throat> Breathe with me, Leo, in, out. We're going to get through it, okay? All right, the Three of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This tells me that there's your little... Uh you're a little scared or there's fear that you're experiencing right now. Maybe you're scared of getting hurt. Now, for some of you, this position here that I'm reading as you, Leo, might sound like your significant other, okay? You decide who's who here. But in, for, in order to keep things clear and help you stay on track, I'm going to say that I'm going to be reading this as you, okay? So nobody gets confused. The Four of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. You're, uh, you're holding on too tight. You're, 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 you're controlling things too much. What does that mean? What does that look like? It means that you're paying too much attention to everything. It means that you're not acting natural. You're, you're forcing a lot of things. You're holding on to a lot of stuff. You're not allowing things to naturally unfold, okay? You're trying to control every single little thing that's happening. And as a result, you are limiting and restricting yourself the possibilities, guys. The Four of Pentacles says that you might be trying to secure a certain outcome. There's something that you want to happen a certain way and you're controlling every single little thing every minute of every day or something like that. And the Three of Swords says it's because you, you fear it turning out a different way. Um, this is a result of a past wound or a certain wound it is that you have that has not been healed, certain past hurts, for example. Whatever the case, there is a need to release control, guys, and allow things to unfold naturally because I'm already getting the feeling that you are actually limiting the possibilities here of what could happen. I'm hearing a better outcome that you can't even fathom at the present moment because you're too busy trying to make this other thing happen because you can't see another reality. Okay, so that's you. We have the two of pentacles. Look at you and the ten of swords. How exhausting, guys. This can't feel good. Oh, absolutely not. This is incredibly draining. This is working against you guys. I'm getting that many of you don't even realize how this kind of behavior, subconscious behavior for many of you has really been working against you. And in fact, has created a, um, a lot of big disappointments for you. And many of you don't even realize, and I'm hearing, and we're going back, I'm, I'm hearing remind Leo that it's due to trying to make this certain thing happen and when you do that, you block, you block so many great opportunities, guys, so many realities that you can't even fathom because of your state of mind at that moment, whatever the case, the two of pentacles. This is incredibly exhausting, guys. There is a need to bring awareness or, or to pay attention, to give time and energy to that uh, thing. I'm hearing that that pain, that suffering, that the root cause of it. The Ten of Swords could also say you're staying. It's, it's like you're like too busy working on something. You're too busy. This could be you too busy on something else. 
Like, uh, hello, there's a dead person on the floor. There's somebody gravely wounded. Oh yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Let me do this first. Let me go turn the tortillas on the stove or uh, let me go empty the washer and dry, uh, empty the, uh, the washer and throw the, the, the load in the dryer. Like there's this other thing that's more important. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. This person, there's something that needs immediate attention, but you're finding all these other things that are more important or that, yeah, you're giving your time and your energy. And I'm not saying that they're not important because the two of pentacles says that, uh, there is a need to prioritize right in your life, which is what you might have a whole lot going on. And it might be difficult. I'm hearing to prioritize what is most important. Okay. So that's you. How does that relate to your relationship, your connection? Let's see. Maybe this is about a certain problem in the relationship, in the connection, guys. That's how it's gotten pretty darn bad. And uh, with this two of pentacles, uh, for whatever reason, you have uh, somebody here has fa failed to give it the time and the attention it really truly needs, which is emergency attention, if you ask me, right? <laughs> They, they need, they need to see someone now. It can't wait. Six of swords. This is your significant other. And again, some of you might resonate more. This might sound more like you apply it to your situation. Okay. Trust your intuition. My dear Leo, the six of swords. This is your significant other. There is obviously a need to just move on. There is obviously a need to just move on, guys. Six of Swords says that there is a, 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 a transition here that is absolutely necessary because there is a need for peace, peace of mind, peace within. I am choosing to move or I'm, cho I'm, I'm choosing to not focus on this anymore and instead focus on this, not because I want to. That doesn't happen in the Six of Swords. This is more so like I have to or it's just the best thing to do or the circumstances just, you know, require for me to make this transition. As you can see, it's not the most happiest one. It, it, the transition here doesn't happen on your own terms. And then we have the 10 of pentacles. I feel like this person, uh, your significant other, long-term stability and security, a healthy relationship, the home, long-term goals, all those things are incredibly significant and important and are things that this individual is focused on, uh, focusing on. This is what, this is what really, really, truly matters. My family creating um, strong foundations, having a healthy, committed relationship, building for the future, not any future, but a healthy, secure future. This is seeking longevity in relationships and connections and everything it is that you do. So there's, um, there's the focus on that. And with the Six of Swords, your significant other is... Uh, I mean, choosing to focus on what, what matters on choosing to, choosing to focus on, um, I said on what matters, right? There's an uncertainty in the air. I'm hearing of not really knowing necessarily or having that confirmation of like, this is what I need to do, or this is the best thing to do. I feel like everybody, it feels like it's just trying to do the best that they can. We have the five of pentacles. There's two people here. So I feel like whatever's going on here is difficult for the both of you, right? There is a, an acceptance here of, accept, of just accepting uncertainty, a decision here that still has not been made something I'm hearing that needs attention, but it's lacking so much attention. Maybe it's lacking something. 
I don't really know what to do. And, but that doesn't mean you're not doing anything, right? We're in situations many times where we don't really know what to do. We're lacking so much information. We need more details. We're full of doubt, but we're still having to make choices and decisions every day, no matter whether we trust it or not. Maybe we don't, but we're still just doing the best that we, that we can. I feel like both of you are doing that, guys. And obviously it's been a difficult road. I feel like there's been a lot of pain and a lot of suffering for sure with the five of pentacles and it does feel like the both of you could seriously use some help and some support guys maybe from each other or from the people in your lives or from anything or from anyone I, I should say so this is what's happening this is what's going on okay let's see we have the page of cups and the knight of wands I more so, I didn't, uh, I didn't really specify whether this was, I was still tapping into your significant other because I was kind of like getting the hunch of like, I was already moving away from that and moving to the next position, but I didn't necessarily transition fully to the next position in, in the reading, which is future energy. I more so feel like this is advice, guys. The page of cups is important to, I mean, stay fluid, listen to your feelings, to your, to your emotions, to not stay stuck anywhere emotionally. Page of cups says also stay optimistic about your love life. It's, it's, it's important. I'm here not to keep things cooped, uh, cooped in. I mean, if you love somebody, okay. If you have, if you care about somebody, it's important to say that, to communicate that. The Knight of Wands um, is also saying, don't hold yourself back. This is not a time to do that. The Knight of Wands also said there, there needs to be a change here, a shift. There needs to be a shift. Um, there's, there's no time to wait. The Knight of Wands, there's a need to jump into action, to be brave, to be bold as well. This is advice. Okay, what can you expect to be happening and moving forward? Immediate future. This reading is good for the second half of September from the 15th to the 31st. Okay, so this will be immediate future. What can you expect to be unfolding? This is future foresight for you, my dear Leo. Based on what has already happened, based on what's happening now, a certain future has already been assured, we can say, based on the choices and the decisions that have already been made. So let's see what is the immediate future. We have the Ace of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Wands, guys. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Ace of Pentacles. Guys, here there's still an opportunity. There's still something here. There's still an opportunity. This is what you can expect. We have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, when I think about the Queen of Wands, I think about being highly optimistic. Queen of Wands, there's nothing too hard for the Queen of Wands. She can do it all because she has a strong will. She has strong optimism. She has strong intuition as well. She's confident. She believes in herself. She has a certain vision and she knows her capability. She knows I can make this happen. So there's, I'm um, even sensing a, a, a willful determination here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. What is this Holy Spirit? I'm seeing this as a, this is an opportunity guys that is seen. You, you can't unsee this. It's, you can't deny this. I'm seeing this as an opportunity guys, something that just happens that gives you the other person, someone here, the opportunity to do something. Maybe it's a certain, a certain development that takes place. Some, yeah, that just kind of opens the door here for, for something, but it's, it's something that needs to be taken. Okay. It's not something it, the thing with the aces is they come in and they could certainly disappear and, uh, they're very much dependent on, on you, on what it is that you do. So there's an opportunity here, guys, something that can be done. But I'm hearing, but this needs to be taken. It's certainly being seen. We have the Eight of Cups. Maybe this is about leaving something behind and moving in a certain direction, guys. There is, is there somebody leaving here? Somebody has left the building.
This is as well about going towards your happiness, guys. This is about leaving something and going towards your happiness because that's what's happening here, isn't it? In the nine of wands, where's this person going? They're going towards their happiness. This is what you can expect, guys. An opportunity, an, op an offer that is extended. And we're going to leave it at that, guys. That's what you can expect in moving forward and offer an opportunity and, 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 and a, an offer that is extended. So, And then you decide from there what happens from there. And I feel like, well, the rest of this, the continuation of this reading will pick up on perhaps um, in the next reading, guys, October the 1st to the 15th. All right, let's leave it at that. There could be a King of Cups. Did you see this one? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces of significance, guys. This is somebody that is a lot more emotionally available, let's say, mature or in a place where they're able to, um, I mean, uh, express themselves express themselves effectively, display their feelings and emotions in a way that uh, they're um, in, 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 in a way that the other person is able to understand. Okay, however that resonates. All right, let's see. Closing message from the Romantic Fairy Oracle. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. This is a great time to book a reading because there is a sale going on on my website, guys. So book your reading at a discount. Wow. While you can. <laughs> All right, Leo, closing message, closing message. Do some of you have a black cat or a black dog or black pet love language gift giving Ooh, i like this card tokens of reciprocity hold cherish memories is there like a new puppy to look there's such a cute little puppy there tokens of reciprocity hold cherished memories Ooh, love language that's what we saw there that who was it? The King of Cups at the end. That's love language, guys. A gift giving. So that could be a gesture of some sort. We saw it with the Ace of Pentacles. Like, here's this. Burning desire. Flames of passion ignite. Signs and clues. Rendezvous. It says the universe is talking to you. Are you listening? Do you know the universe is talking to you through numbers? Uh, through synchronicities, through billboards, through TV, through symbols, through music, everywhere. The universe is talking to you. Rendezvous, a private getaway for two is calling you. I feel like this is an intimate moment, right? Both of you. Lasting love. This is true love. Oh, goodness. Wow. Let's see. Leo, closing message from the Eye of Zen Romance Oracle cards. It says, balance. Something is not an equal give and take. Focus on balancing yourself. Cutting. It's time to sever unhealthy attachments. The cycle must be broken. We saw that, guys. We saw it on this side, the side I read as you. Like, there's something there. Like, your priorities are off a bit. Somebody's priorities are. There's some things that need to be cut away for sure. We saw it in the Eight of Cups. It's time to sever unhealthy attachment. The cycle must be broken. Balance is needed. Something is not an equal give and take. Focus on balancing yourself. All right. Now, one last message for you, Leo. One last message from the Self-Love Oracle. One last message from the Self-Love Oracle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Leo. Let's see. This message is for you. So listen up, okay? Pay it forward. This reminds me of the, here it is, look. L love language gift giving. Tokens of reciprocity hold cherished memories. I mean, everything you do will not go by unnoticed, guys. Pay it forward. Be the answer to someone else's prayer. Helping others can be the quickest way to help ourselves. What didn't I say? I'm like, it looks like both of you need help, support in some way, for sure, guys. Pay it forward. 
wait, I didn't cut that right. Let's get this one. Spend time alone. Okay, all decisions must be made by yourself. Give yourself the time and space to seek the answers within rather than without. Spend time alone. There's obviously something to think about here, guys. Uh, far away, I'm hearing from outside influences. There's a choice, there's a decision, something that you need to, I'm hearing, come up with yourself. Somebody does, needs to make this choice, this decision themselves. And the spend time alone could uh, be telling you that maybe there's some things that, you know, could be influencing you right now. It's also saying, don't let anything influence you. This is something, a choice, a decision that needs to be made you yourself. So you might need to spend some time alone, guys. Ask yourself. Co-create. Working with others creates new possibilities. Cooperative relationships lead to greater growth. This is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.